The Forecast with Corn 6 Chief Meteorologist Bruce Sussman. Well, if you've been waiting for a cooler night to sleep, I have it for you in the forecast tonight. And let's start with this evening's temperatures first so you know how to plan, especially psychologically if you don't have air conditioning, right? 82 degrees at 7 o'clock. That's refreshingly low for our temperatures at that time of night. 77 at 9. And by 11 o'clock, we're down to 70. Now, tonight, this is kind of weird. This is for the metro area. This doesn't really apply to those of you in the Central Valley, like around Salem. You're going to be warmer than this because your temperatures are several degrees hotter right now. Tomorrow, though, we all start to see our temperatures slide in the high temperature department. 64 out the door, maybe some patchy morning clouds in the metro area and north. Uh, 74 degrees and sunny at lunchtime. I mean, that's almost perfect. And 84 degrees to finish the day. That's your forecast for tomorrow. Look at the clear skies right now up above. Oh, Portland State, you're right in here nestled along the West Hills. Beautiful afternoon for you. 85 degrees the current temperature and a bit of a northwest breeze. And that ocean breeze, it's really holding down the temperature right along the Columbia. I'm seeing some white caps from our Salties Cam. So it's breezy and it's 82. I mean, that is refreshing, especially when you consider what's been going on to the south of Portland. 90s right now in Salem. The high was 93, 96 in Eugene. And look at all the triple digits. I mean, there, that just catches your eye right away. Incredible heat in central and eastern Oregon. Tomorrow, your temperatures will start to drop as well. The coast, not much change. You just stay cool. So we've got the hot here, the cool there, and the hot is helping fire up the thunderstorms here in central and eastern Oregon. And we've got a bunch of them. We've got a flash flood watch up in Malheur County. Meanwhile, for those of you in central Oregon, we've got a whole batch of very intense thunderstorms putting down a lot of lightning to the east of Bend and Lapine. I just queried this area, and the number of lightning strikes in the last 15 minutes, about 194. So these storms are very, very active. And we've got really high fire danger in this whole area in red through tomorrow night because of the wind and the thunderstorms, Ben, Madras, Prineville, Redmond, all of you under a fire weather warning. But here's the big picture now. We're hot right now. Tomorrow, the real heat kind of sinks east of the Cascades. Now we put our way into 4th of July, and guess what? We're back in the warm zone, so our heat wave is just about done. Tomorrow, 70 along the coast, 60s and 70s. We'll see 79 up in Kelso tomorrow, but 90 in Eugene, so a big spread in the temperature department. 90s back in central and eastern Oregon. 84 for a high temperature tomorrow in Portland. So it's still mostly sunny, but it's a little cooler. And we could have a few morning clouds on the east side, but west side, you start with sun. 85 tomorrow afternoon in Tualatin. Only 83 in Gresham and Camas, and 84 at PDX. And if you're up in southwest Washington, low to mid 80s will do it for you. Battleground at 83. So here's the seven day forecast. Fourth of July, I think we're going to have some patchy morning clouds and then sun, 78 on the fourth. Friday is some gradual clearing, so the clouds hang on longer, only 75. And look at our lows. We're headed for the 50s for lows. Keep in mind the last few nights, our lows have been in the mid, sometimes upper 60s. Yeah. So mm. it's really going to be a lot more comfortable for opening the window and actually getting some sleep without the air conditioner cranking <laughs> yeah. all night. Yeah. So hot. All yeah. right. Thanks, Bruce. Well,